Hi, and welcome to another edition of the AlterEgos.com videos. In this video, I will show you how to download and install the Semantic Install Manager, which is commonly referred to as the SIM. The SIM is software that manages the installation of the Semantic Management Platform. Additionally, the SIM will streamline the installation and removal of components, as well as checking for updates. The easiest way to get a copy of the SIM is to go to the Trialware page at Symantec.com. For me, the fastest way to do this is to go to your favorite search engine and do a search for Symantec Client Management Suite Trialware. Don't worry if you want to install something other than Client Management Suite. What you will be downloading is the SIM. The SIM is what allows you to select what suites or solutions you want to install. Take into the Altair's Client Management Suite landing page. On this page, you should see an icon with the word Trialware beside it. You will want to click the Trialware icon. Clicking on the Trialware icon will bring up a new window entitled Eligibility Export Restrictions. You will need to click on the I Do Not Agree or the I Agree button. You will only be able to download the SIM installer if you select the I Agree button. After selecting the I Agree button, a new window will open up entitled Semantic Account Login. You will need to enter your Semantic credentials if you already have them. If you do not have an account, you can create one on this page. When you have entered an account and or entered your credentials, a new window will open entitled Software Download. You should see a file listed with the name Client Management Suite and a Download Now icon to the right. Click on the Download Now icon and yet another window will open up suggesting you use the Download Manager. I personally don't use this option. If you look towards the bottom of this page, you will see the words Click Here. Click on this link to forego using the Download Manager and use your browser instead. Each browser handles how downloads occur, so select which option you prefer and then save the semantic underscore sim executable file somewhere easily accessible. Once you have downloaded the sim executable, you can close all the browser windows. When running the sim installation executable, it will check to see if there is a locally installed SQL database. If it does not find one, it will ask if you wish to install a SQL Express database or you can bypass that and point to an off-box database later. Go ahead and run the SIM installation executable and you should end up with a Semantic Installation Manager setup window. Select the Next button and proceed to the License Agreement section. You will need to put a check to the left of the I accept the terms in the License Agreement before you can select the Next button. After you press Next, you will be taken to the Destinations folder window. This lets you define where the SIM files, as well as the semantic management platform and associated solutions, will be installed. Important reminder here. This is when you will want to define what drive and directory you want your SMP to be installed on. So as an example, if you want your SMP on a separate drive than your operating system, this is where you would define it. Once you have this defined, click the Begin Install button. The install will take a few minutes and then you should be presented with a successfully installed message. If you want to launch the SMP, simply click the Finish button. If you do not want to launch it, at this time, uncheck the Automatically Launch Semantic Installation Manager option, then click Finish. And with that, you've successfully installed the Semantic Installation Manager. Thank you for watching the video, and have a great day.